Hi guys, it's Iron Ethan M. Haven't done a video for a while, but this is my first kind of comeback video. We are now back on YouTube after the last six months of no videos. That's fun. I'm back from university and I've picked up the new 3DS XL with Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate bundled. Um, this is a new bundle which Game have got for £160 at the moment. I got quite a good bargain on it, so I picked it up and traded in my old 3DS, as you guys remember two years back when I unboxed that. So, uh, the 3DS is 90% bigger screens and does not come with an AC adapter, which is a bit of a problem, but I'm sure it's fine. As you can see on the back of the box, we got the advertisement for Monster Hunter, um, showing you that you can become a legend of Monster Hunting. Um, Monster Hunter is amazing, so I will show you that when we get into it. Anyway, let's unbox this bad boy, which is the 3DS XL. Okay. I can't actually open the box, which is where it's stuck. Alright, in the box, you will get, hopefully a DS. Bear in mind this is a re-unboxing, by the way. I've already unboxed this before, so if you wonder why there's a game already in the DS. Alright, well, first things first, we'll put that out of the way. You get your little book of goodies and stuff. So inside this bag is the horrible stuff which you'll never look at. So you get the AR cards, which are the augmented reality cards. Uh, you get one of Mario, Link, Kirby, Samus Aran, and... Uh, I don't know who that is. Pikmin, even, and the question mark card. These can be used for augmented reality games. I don't really use them much, but they're fun while they last. I need to blur that out. That's the Club Nintendo card. Um, the code on there can be used to register towards your Club Nintendo points. Same on there. I can't show you the codes. Alright, then some customer support leaflets. Eh, more support leaflets. And then you finally get your instruction booklet, which is the quick start guide, and your massive operations manual for every single language in Europe. So, as it says here, do not sit on your 3DS while you're unboxing it. That would be a bit weird um, if you did sit on your DS. And don't trap your thumb in the game cartridge. Alright, that's cool. Anyway, on to the main part of the 3DS. So that's mainly it. Now, the last bit in here is the 3DS itself. So the box is now empty, there's no charger as I said, so yeah, that's the that done. Right. Okay, so the Monster Hunter 3 Ultimate one comes with a plain black 3DS, as you can see here. And on the back, 3DS XL. It's already got a cartridge in, I've been playing Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time again with this just to test it out. Okay, so on the side you get your stylus, your SD card, and your wireless operations, which you can turn it on and off. On this side you get the volume. On the back you get your usual LNR buttons, your charger, your infrared port, and also your game cartridge port. And on this side you've got the lights, you've got your headphones, and the power on or off, and that's if it's charging that'll glow orange. So, on the inside, you can instantly see when I open this that the screens are like massive. They they stick out at you quite quickly. These guys are now actual buttons, not a little strip, so they feel a lot more responsive when you're using them. And other than that, that's pretty much the 3DS in a nutshell. Um, I'm going to have another video up on the channel next, which is going to show the comparison between the 3DS and the 3DS XL. And I'll tell you if I think it's worth the cost. But this bad boy did come pre-installed with Monster Hunter, so what I'll do is I'll quickly boot it up and I'll show you guys what it looks like when you first boot up your 3DS XL. Alright, so some of you may be wondering where Monster Hunter 3DS is. Obviously, it's not in the box. It's not a game. Nintendo actually now pre-installed the software, so you've got the game instantly installed. I've transferred all my stuff over. As you can see, I've got all these games and folders and stuff from my old DS. They transfer over in about 10 minutes at a push, so all you do is transfer it all over via the Wi-Fi and Monster Hunter's already on there. So you're ready to go with your gaming. If you've got a 3DS, it's an easy transfer. If you've got a brand new 3DS XL, you'll start off with just Monster Hunter on here, and you can obviously grow your collection from there. All right, guys, that's my video of the 3DS XL unboxing. Hope you enjoyed it. If you're thinking of getting a 3DS XL, leave some comments below, and um, I'll give you any feedback. As you can see, it's a nice and matte black finish compared to the 3DS original, which is kind of that shiny, horrible magnetic fingerprint kind of style to it, so whatever you prefer. I prefer the 3DS XL at the moment, the design and the size of it, so up to you guys what you think. I will see you guys in the next video, come up in a few more minutes, and that will show you the features or the difference between the 3DS and the 3DS XL. Thanks for watching guys, it's Nathan, and I'll see you next time.